In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to widen the hole in your tuning peg to accommodate a higher string gauge. In this case, I've got a 72 gauge that I was going to put in the seventh string. And I've encountered this in another situation too. This is my second guitar. I've had to modify like this, um, but sometimes, especially once you get up in those higher gauges, you'll end up with a string that seems like it's just all one gauge as you're starting to slide it through, but then you suddenly run into a bump where the string itself is actually thicker. So these are locking tuners in this case. Um, the procedure will be mostly the same, but as you'll see what happens is as you start to try to get the string through there, you get it through, you know, like everything's great. And then suddenly you crash into this one spot. Now, some people will suggest that you simply unwind the string, starting here, and that's quite a ways there. That's probably about four inches. It's really hard to see in the video, but right about where my thumbnail is right here, it's suddenly wider, and that's where it actually becomes 72 gauge. So instead of doing that and weakening the string, I'm gonna make it so I don't have this problem anymore, and I'm going to widen the hole itself. Okay, now, because these are locking tuners, I am going to point out one thing that you're gonna to need to do if it's a locking tuner, you can totally do this, but you need to unscrew the lock entirely. All right, so take this out. These are Spurzel locking tuners. All right, so they're, this is a bit of an older guitar. I personally got it used in 2005. Now, that's not the only thing. There's a piece inside, at least for this model. So there's that, it fell right into my hand. You wanna make sure that's out of there before you start drilling. And now it's safe, all right? It'll be just, it's a, pretty much a regular tuning peg at this point. Okay, so we're going to drill. So you're going to need a drill and preferably a set of fairly strong um, drill bits. These are titanium ones from Milwaukee. Um, cost about 20 bucks at Home Depot at the time, at least. And so what we wanna do before we start just haphazardly drilling is remember that this is still kind of small metal here okay so we're, we're really kind of trying to drill into a pretty small area um these are also since they're locking they're not really tall so i have a very small area to work in and what i'm going to do is take a look at the a few that might just look like they're the right size i'm going to start with the smallest one and that actually is small enough to fit right through so that's not really going to widen it but i might use that first to just sort of kind of widen it a little bit by jiggling it around a little bit. The next size up, okay, and that one, by the way, that's 1 16th of an inch. The next one does not fit in there at all. So that's probably the one I'm gonna have to use. This is 5 64th. This is the second smallest I've got, and that's just gonna have to do. Again, because I'm drilling metal, I do want them to be titanium and able to handle this. Make sure your battery is fully charged. And I'm going to start with the smaller one. Okay, so what I've done is I've tuned, I've turned the tuning peg so that I can actually access it directly so that I'm not coming at some weird angle. All right. And I'm just going to start drilling it out. Again, this is the one that fits already. And these are strings I'm going to replace. So if I actually hit that six string, I kind of don't care. But I'm going to just start. Grinding a little bit out. That's it. Just grinding it. Pulling it side to side and kind of going in a circular motion. So when I put the next one in, I don't want to be just blasting in there with something too big and split the thing apart and have to get a new tuning peg. All right, and there's just, you might have seen little flecks kind of flying out. There's very little that that did, but I just want to kind of go gently on this. And again, fit it all the way through, make sure we're all the way there. and. Now this is also on low, so this can go a little higher, but I didn't want to start that way. Okay, and it's really slow going, all right? But there's definitely a lot of metal dust starting to sort of uh, make its way through there. And just to test, I seriously doubt this did enough, but I'm going to just test it and see how well it gets through there. 
Because if that's enough, that'll be good. But no, right there, that's when we're running into the problem again. All right, so we gotta go further. Okay, so again, that was 1 16th. I'm gonna go up one size to 5 64th inch. And um, I'm gonna make that a little wider now. This is where it gets a little scarier. And that's why I'm making this video, because if you've never done this before, uh, that can be a little bit of a scary prospect, drilling out your tuning pegs. And I'll be honest, if I had never seen someone do this before, I probably wouldn't dive in and do it myself either. But that's why I'm making this video, so you can see someone doing it, and that it can handle it. Now I'll do the same thing I was doing with the other bit, and just sort of spin it around a little bit inside there, and just kind of trying to widen the whole thing a little bit. We don't want to go too far with this. Okay, because again, we're, we're taking some of the metal away, which means it's going to actually get weaker. So we want to make just enough room for probably the widest string we're ever going to stick through there. Okay, and uh, I don't want to blow metal dust all over the place. So I'm not even going to blow that off right now, but let's see how far we've gotten. Oh, what do you know? No problem anymore. All right, so this is a seven string and I'm actually tuning down to A. Okay, so I just wanted the kind of skinny top heavy bottom kind of situation to, to work out okay and since i'm pretty much through and i'm probably not going to use anything bigger than a 72 on this guitar ever i'm going to stop there again you want to leave as much of the metal intact as you can when you do this so that you're not uh, weakening the, the tuning peg to the point that when you increase the tension and tune it up to whatever pitch you're going for that the heaviness of the, the string actually breaks your tuning peg so yeah, we want to keep that as as strong as possible still, but that's all it really takes. Now, of course, if you have a locking tuner, you'll re want to remember to put the pieces back together. So just drop the pin in there. That's actually what locks the string into place, by the way. And this actually pushes it into being tight up against the string like that. So it's just kind of loose in there until this crushes it up against your string. And that's what kind of helps it lock. Again, each of these is probably a little bit different, but this is how this one works, so this will kind of give you an idea. Make sure that the parts that make this a locking tuner are, are still in there so before you start drilling, of course. But that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more helpful videos like this.